Hey everyone, today I'm going to tell you about the methyl group. It's a functional group and it looks like this. You've got carbon with you got carbon with three hydrogens attached and that carbon's attached to your backbone. Um, methyl groups, notice that they are comprised of carbon and hydrogen only. And to review, remember, carbon and hydrogen have roughly the same electronegativity. What does that mean? That means that when they form covalent bonds, when they're sharing electrons like this, um, they're sharing those electrons evenly. So there shouldn't be any reason that the electrons are spending more time with the carbon or more time with the hydrogen. So you're not going to get anything like a partial positive charge or a partial negative charge. You're not going to get any charges at all. And because of that, these are considered nonpolar covalent bonds between carbon and hydrogen, which would make this a nonpolar functional group. So if you have this functional group, you're a molecule with this functional group, this functional group is not going to help you uh, mix with water. It's not going to help you be polar because that's a nonpolar functional group. In fact, it's the only nonpolar functional group that we'll be discussing. All right, so that is the methyl group. Uh, it's also written CH3. By the way, this is an important thing. Um, this is kind of confusing. When you see CH3 on the right side of molecules, it's written CH3. But if you have a CH3 on the left side of a molecule, like if I were to add a CH3 here, oftentimes they'll write H3C. And that shouldn't confuse you. If you see H3C, that's the same thing as CH3. That's still a methyl group. Um, the reason they write it H3C is because they want to make it clear that the H's are bound to the C and the C is bound to the other C. So if, if you ever see stuff where it's like, hey, that's weird, you know, on this side it's written one way, on that side it's written a different way, that's why. Same thing, uh, just I digress real quick, same thing with a hydroxyl group, okay? I just wanna, I'm just giving this as an example, right? If there's a hydroxyl group like OH, you'll write OH if it's on this side of the molecule. If there was a hydroxyl group on that side, you guessed it, it's HO, right? Because again, both of those are OH groups. Both of those are hydroxyl groups. But on this side, it's written OH because the C is bound to the O, the O to the H. On that side, it's HO because the H is bound to the O, the O is bound to the C. So just to clarify, a uh, little uh, extra tip for you. Uh, again, I hope this helps. That's the methyl group. It's really straightforward, non-functional, I mean, non-polar non functional group. And, and uh, again, uh, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a question below. Thanks again.